be making basics. What's good YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, as well as like and comment on the video if you like the content. But without further ado, let's jump in. Now today's video is going to be another subscriber slash viewer topic. We have Chris here says, yo, can you do a tutorial on how to add drum kits to Logic? Well, that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump in. Basically, Chris, this is how you do it. All right, there's two different ways you can add drums um, and drum kits to Logic Pro 10. One is going to be through the quick sampler and the other one is going to be through the multi sampler. So I'm gonna show you the quick sampler route first and then we'll go into the multi sampler, which is a little bit more detailed. So we'll go to the quick sampler first. We're gonna create a software instrument track. Then we're gonna create a quick sampler track under instrument and push create. All right, so for y'all who are new to Logic Pro 10, this is the new sampler that they have. It's really, really easy to use. Literally all you're doing is dragging, dropping samples in here, and then you can save those samples by going over here where it says factory default and save as. So let's just say if you wanted to go to say Splice or some other place to get your samples, okay? I'm just gonna type in drum kits. Okay, and we have a bunch of different drum kits and different things like that. Um, let's just say we want to use this snare. All right, cool. We're going to go over here to this guy's kits here and we can pick out a lot of different things. He has hats. Let's go to drums all together here. All right, cool. So let's just go with this clap right here. If we wanted that clap, we'll of course have to get a, push a, put a credit on it to get it. But after you get it, you can just drag it over here directly to the quick sampler. Boom, it's right in here. Now we can play this with our MIDI keyboard. You wanna make sure you're in classic mode with this and uh, what classic mode is gonna allow you to do is play the uh, sample throughout all of the octaves of the keyboard, okay? All right, from there, basically you could do certain things. You could reverse the sample or make it go forward. So we can, this is how it sounded reversed. Okay, but most, most of the time we're gonna wanna keep it forward. Um, you're not gonna wanna put a loop on it. And um, you could also do certain things down here, like you could push the volume up if you want it to amplify it. Um, you can come over here and put a filter on it if you wanted to. And so this is basically allows you to have like your own unique sound. So you can drag in a sound or whatever, like an individual sound and then manipulate it some. And um, whenever you play it back on the keyboard here, it will sound like how you manipulated it. Now, like again, if you want to save this, you go over here to factory default at the top of the screen and then come down to uh, save as. And then you could just give it a name. So this is uh, Meteor Clap. So say Meet T or Clap. Now, anytime I want to pull that sound up, um, I'm just going to delete this. I'll just go ahead and go to a software instrument track, pull up the quick sampler under instrument, push create, and then I can go to factory default and I can look for it right under here. So we go to Meteor and as you can see right there, Meteor clap right there. Okay, cool. So that's how you do one instrument. This is good for like hi-hats if you want to do like um, crazy hi-hat patterns, sometimes like certain, you know, one shots and different things like that. But if you want to build an actual kit, then I'm going to actually recommend that you use something called the multi sampler. So same difference here. You're going to go to software instrument um, when you're creating a new track and then go down to sampler, which is multi sampler, go to stereo. And this is your multi sampler. Okay. Now the simplest way to add these sounds into this multi sampler 
is to go and click on mapping right here at the top all right you can also pull up zone as well and it, you can do certain things like one shot reverse different things like that but mapping is going to be the main thing you're going to want to pull up here and see how you see all these notes here i could literally just drag start dragging and dropping samples onto each one of these notes and that's going to create our kit and then we're going to save as and name it and i already have some kits here but i'll go through the process here and show y'all how to do this so say let's say we want to just build a full-fledged meteor kit based off of his uh, sample pack so let's just grab a kit a kick drum All right, so we'll grab that kick. And it literally just drag it in and drop it in. So I can put this like on C1 right here. And voila, now that is over here. All right, so we can continue the process basically. Find more kicks and then move the snares, hi-hats, percussion, stuff like that. So I like that kick right there. Drag him, put that on the next note. All right. Um, and you just continue the process here. We're going to just keep on finding some stuff here. And you don't have to use splice. You can use whatever kit you want. To build your... Um, kit here. Boom. All right, I think that's enough. Now let's move to, let's say, snares or claps even. And you're just going to repeat the process here, building that kick. Do a couple claps. We already got this clap right here, so we'll bring that in as well. Grab him. And you, you, you get the deal. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep on pretty much building the uh, kick here. Let's grab some hats now. Get some hats in here.
Let's find one more sound and then we'll just key, we'll, we'll, we'll finish adding everything. That would be it for adding stuff. Um, let's see here. We've got top. What is this? All right, let's just say that this is what we want as far as our kit. Um, now we have our kit, say, like right here, all of our sounds, you know. If you want, let's just how I told you with zone, you can, you can click on zone and you can come into each individual sound. You can do one shot mode, which basically, as soon as you hit it, the, the sample is going to play all the way through. If this is not selected, you have to hold this, in, you know, the note down for it to play everything all the way through. I think you should set up uh, one stop mode on all of your samples, um, to be honest with you. I bet. So now we have a one shot mode on everything. You can do everything like that, man. Um, there's other things you could do here. You can reverse some of these instruments. You know, this is so much you could do on it. Um, you can come over here and do a fade like this way. I mean. There's a lot of different things. You can zoom in on the actual um, sample. You can put a fade on it here. You're just clicking on these these guys right here. Um, you can snap it. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things. This is how, how you audition the sound. You can put a fade out here or here just by going up or down. And it's going to move that fade for you. You can put a loop, like if it was an actual like uh, melody, you can put a loop on it, a lot of different things. You can pitch it up or down, different things like that. Turn the volume up on it, so say it's coming in a little low. You turn that up. I'm gonna keep it right here at the volume that it was. Um, same with the velocity, you can turn that down or up or down. But pretty much after you come in here and make the adjustments, all you have to do to save your kit is just come over here to factory default and save as, okay? And I'm just gonna name it Meteor Kit. Save. Now, anytime I wanna pull this up, I'm just gonna delete this real quick. Just go to software instrument Make sure you go under instruments, go all the way down to here to sampler, stereo. Um, just make sure it's a multi sampler and then push create. And then we're gonna go where it says factory, factory default right there. And we're gonna go and scroll down until you see your kit that you just created. And I see it right here, Meteor Drum Kit. Now, everything's right there. And you could easily just push mapping just to see where your samples are.
and there you go um, you can create as many kits as you want to it doesn't have to even be a specific type of kit you can put whatever type of sounds you want in here manipulate them whatever um, but that's how you build your own kits right here in logic make sure you get subscribed if you're new also take advantage of my free course that I'm offering you once you click on that free course you're gonna be given the course is gonna be sent to your email and then it also will give you an offer on another bundle which is a crazy deal you don't have to take advantage of it but I recommend that you do it's just really to help producers uh, take their beats to the next level especially people who are just getting started or producers who are getting back into music production uh, the bundle is gonna cover a lot of different things like you know how to make beats in GarageBand and in Logic Pro 10. The bundle is also going to include how to uh, play any major or minor scale on the keyboard, which is like dealing with music theory, helping you with your melodies. It's going to show you how to make drum patterns and how to mix your beats, um, and really in any DAW on those three. But you get five courses in one. Just make sure you grab that free course if you want to get access to that offer. It also comes with a drum kit option if you want and an upgrade to Logic Pro 10 10.5 is a course there and I'm, I'm throwing in a melody kit so it's all there for y'all um, bare minimum get subscribed to the channel I do release these videos weekly if not daily and um, thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video